Hey everyone, you need to check out Agent CRM. It is the platform that yeah. we really wish we had before. Oh yeah, it has everything you need and their team helps you get set up. Check out Agent CRM in our description and enjoy the show. Oh yeah. What up? Hey, how's everybody doing out there? We're doing pretty good. Absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. Hey folks, if you don't know Paul Scanlon, co-founder and CEO of Legion M, Boy, let me tell you, you should. Today Absolutely. we got something special today. Paul, how are you, sir? I'm fabulous. Thank you. And with that introduction, I mean, how can I not be fantastic? That's right. With energy, so right? Exactly. exactly. Yeah, let's go. I already blew your breaker. I mean, what else do you need? Oh, we've been. Yeah, gotta love it's it. It's been a day already. <laughs> oh yeah, we're having fun. <laughs> Give me some Roman candles. Let's get this going. Let's Woo! go. Boom. So, Paul. Being a Bay Area boy, like kind of like Rob and I grew up in San Bruno. Rob grew up in San Rafael. Yep. What has that meant for you in the movie industry, being so close with, to George Lucas, basically? Well, you know, it's interesting. Uh, as a Bay Area, I'm not a native, but I've been here over 25 years, so I'm basically native. Um, I love that this area, the Bay Area, has enough entertainment in it to make it legit. Like, I don't feel like I'm outside the, the inner circle of Hollywood, but we still have a little bit of an outsider perspective on it. And that's one thing that, you know, I think is really important for Legion M and for, for me personally, is I love the idea of, you know, being within the industry, but like also looking at it from a, a different vantage point so that it yeah. can allow us uh, to do things differently. And yeah, I mean, we've got Pixar here. We've got Lucas, ILM. I mean, there's so much here. It's, uh, you know, I think this is a creative hotbed. And plus the area has had some of the most iconic, uh, you know, the Golden Gate Bridge and San Streets of San Francisco and Dirty Harry. Oh, yeah. and oh God, yes. James Bond. from Alcatraz. I was just not at Alcatraz a couple weekends ago. Exactly. That, so that, that Nick Cage beauty up. Oh, oh yeah, my Sean God. Connery, Nick Cage. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah. Christopher Walken and James Bond. And, yep. oh, oh, yeah. So wow. much great stuff the going on. Oh, yeah. yeah, some good stuff. Go you know, yeah, I was going to go right into like um, Legion M. I mean, this is yeah. why we're here. It's yes. such a, a big oh God, part of awesome. what's going on. And we're obviously going to get deep into Legion M. But I kind of want to know, I don't kind of, I want to know um, where the concept came from for you. Where did fan based funded um, productions come from? Yeah, well, it's a great question. I actually just did a, a TEDx talk that'll be coming out like pretty soon where, where we talk about the kind of, I don't know, how, how it all kind of came together. And, um, you know, a big part of it uh, for me is my, my partnership with Jeff Anderson. I mean, he and I have been co-founders for, for, you know, God, um, over 20 years. And, um, you know, we, we started a company that was a really a more of traditional technology company that sort of became a media company as because we were one of the earliest pioneers of streaming media. And so we got to see how, from a technology standpoint, how the industry worked and how those licensing agreements worked and who was really ultimately king and recognizing that, you know, content is king. At the end of the day, content is what matters, whether you're you know, Netflix and you have the content. And if you're Netflix and you don't have the content, you're not going to have the subscribers. And, you know, we had always, Jeff and I had always wondered, you know, it was interesting to see how the entertainment industry was so unbelievably successful and that there was these, like, a, it's such a huge industry, but it's very closed off. It's kind of, and a very small number of decision makers. And, you know, it, it always dawned on us that there's got to be a different way. And, you know, those in the, like, entrenched in the Hollywood industry, you know, aren't super, I mean, there are progressive people that are looking for new ways to do things. But, you know, the ones that hold the power today aren't really trying to reinvent the industry you know, and we had always wondered, like, wow, it's interesting how the industry itself, more than I think a lot of other industries, had created this barrier between those who make the content and those who watch the content. 
-hmm. And it was almost like they had erected this wall between them. And, you know, our conversations and Jeff and I are always riffing on ideas. And, you know, I'm a, I studied film in college. I'm a consummate movie fan. Jeff's a fan himself. You know, we're like you guys. We're like, wait a minute, you know, there's got to be a different way. Like, why is it that fans don't have a voice? Like, why is it that they don't even really have any direct input into what content gets made? And, you know, and it was around this time that the, the Jobs Act uh, had enabled these new securities laws, which we won't get into the boring details of it, but it was basically in 2016, the SEC updated the rules to say, look, if you want to start a startup, you can raise funding with crowdfunding and let people own shares. So up until 2016, most people don't realize you couldn't do that. The only way to raise capital with the general market with the public was to take your company public. And everyone knows that startups don't go public. Like you need to be billions of dollars into your growth phase before you go public. So most people don't have access to investing in startups and entrepreneurs don't have access to, you know, growing a community of investors. And so in 2016, when these rules changed, Jeff and I were like, you know, we were really centered on what if we could unite that community together. And it was a, a, a fan-owned studio, you know? It would be, the really, the idea is to make it like the inverse of how things work today, you know? That like where fans have a voice, fans share a piece of the upside and fans get involved. Like this whole idea that, you know, having fun can be good business. That the more our community is actively engaged in experiencing this, element of the industry that has been for so long closed off to them, we think that can not only be an amazing emotional experience for them, but we also believe that it can create a financial ROI if we do it right and we're successful. And so, you know, our, our whole thought was, what if you could imagine, you know, a built-in audience, right? So this is, I mean, the crown jewel of Hollywood is built-in audience. That's what George Lucas has with Star Wars. It's what, you know, um, Marvel has with their, you know, franchises. And, you know, but, but and, and the, the biggest studios are pretty stuck, you know, doing sequels and reboots of existing franchises. And we don't have any problem with that, by the way. Like we're, we're supportive and we think those movies are great. And we're, yeah. you know, we're fans of them. But what if you had a built-in audience that wasn't confined to sequels and reboots, but instead was looking for new IP and from new voices and creating the next franchises? And, you know, that was really the, the impetus, you know. So in 2016, we really started it as almost like an experiment. Well, let's go do this and see what happens. Oh, my God, that's awesome. <laughs> so I, I'm glad that you brought that up um, because it was kind of an experiment for me when I had heard, saw a post from Kevin Smith in regards to Legion M. And I was like, well, I like Kevin Smith. And I took a look on what she had going on. And then I was like, well, where do I invest? And I'm going to give a shout out to Start Engine because okay. that's where I learned about a lot of Legion M from. And then I got this guy involved and we both mm -hmm. became investors. investors. Yeah. So <laughs> I am greatly appreciative. Thank you for your support. I can't, I can't wait to get my stock certificate. I know. Well, you don't wait. <laughs> um, I know you got that working and that's Yeah, they're good. they're 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 getting close I think. Yeah, they're yeah. printing them up I think. Yeah. Momentarily. So cool. oh my God, yeah. Um sorry, I got to get my glasses real quick. All right, well I'll ask. <clears throat> um You have a production coming out is it, I think 2023 or is it going to fit into 2022 but it's the um the girl in the white band is it the girl the man in the, in the white band? Yeah, man yeah, in the white man, van. Like yeah van. The man in the white van. Yeah, that's uh, that's pretty close to picture lock at this moment. We've got yeah. a uh, we've got a pretty fine cut of it. We're making some small tweaks, and then it'll go into final uh, post production. Uh, but yeah, it's looking good, and and we have a teaser for it that we, you know, the sales agent wants us to kind of generate the buzz with the buyers and everything and we're submitting it to festivals and things like that but we do have a teaser i think we'll probably share it just so you know we'll probably share it 
not online or publicly or anywhere, but like in our Comic Con um, panel down at uh, San Diego. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's awesome. You guys heard it here. Yeah. Comic Con. You'll see the teaser. Which let's talk about that because there's a Shatner, William oh, yeah. Shatner uh, talk happening at your um, Comic Con area, right? And this is yeah. like, I'm, I, I don't want to say it for you, but I hear it's like one of the big rooms and it's a big, it's a big deal for Legion M because you've, it's a huge step up. Exactly right. I mean, we, you know, we, we always aim for Legion M. I mean, not, we're, we're a startup, right? We're not a big studio yet, but our goal is to become a big studio. And, you know, we are always excited when we see indicators that we're starting to be treated a little bit like a studio, you know, even in its smallest form, a Hall H panel at Comic-Con is, is a pretty major, you know, step up for Legion M. And we did one before with Kevin Smith with the Jane Silent Bob reboot. And that makes sense because you got Kevin Smith and he's who he is. And we oh love God. Kevin. And in fact, by the way, we haven't, I don't know that we've announced, uh, I think we have announced this. Kevin's going to be at our all age panel as well. Yeah. Um, so, uh, and, and, and well, so we have a whole day of events with Shatner. So we announced a new project last week. Mm -hmm. um, that's an untitled documentary about William Shatner. And it's not, you know, not necessarily like the things you already know about William Shatner. It's it's the side of him that most people don't know, which is truly mm -hmm. fascinating. And, you know, our experience with him has been really cool and illuminating because, you know, we we approached him as fans and, you know, in this world and suggested and invited him to join our advisory board. And, you know, he's he's pretty you know, high ranking, uh, you know, celebrity in Hollywood. And, he, you know, he, he asked us a lot of good questions. And but he ultimately, when he learned all about Legion M, he got really excited about it. And he's been absolutely amazing advocate and super interesting, fun guy to work with. And it got us thinking, you know, because we've gotten to know him at a level that like most people probably don't know him. And find him to be truly more extraordinary than we thought he was, like than we knew he was, even when we were we were just fans of his. And so, you know that, and he's got so much after going into space. You know, he's really kind of dedicated the rest of his life to a mission. And you know, so we're we're making a documentary, and we're working with Alexander O. Philippe, who we've worked with before. He did um, Memory: The Origins of Alien, which is. Uh, a project that we had, I think I got the poster right up there. Yep. He's, you know, he's one of the industry's best documentary filmmakers for this type of thing, especially. And uh, yeah, he and Shatner hit it off and, you know, we're off to the races. So at San Diego Comic-Con, not only are we, you know, we're going to have the Hall H panel, we're going to be talking about the doc, we'll probably have some footage to share there because we've already started shooting the movie. We're also opening it up so that um, fans, can invest in and own a piece of the movie. So, Just, you know, Legion M is producing that movie. So we're already, you know, you guys are already own a small piece of it, but if you want to invest more and, and the terms of that, we haven't shared the terms, but they're, it's going to be a really interesting um, scenario. Something that I don't think anyone in the industry has done yet. And it's really yeah. designed to be, you know, beneficial to the fans. This is, this isn't about just, you know, we can raise the capital to make this movie like that. We, we have, we either have it or can get it. Like, it's not about that. It's more about bringing the fans in, letting them participate in it. Um, and so we'll reveal more details on that in, in the coming days, but we're doing a handprint ceremony with him in the morning at 10 AM. I think it's 10 AM around 10 AM. Um, if you've never been to a handprint ceremony, I mean, this is a like a once in a lifetime honor uh, that we'll be doing it. It's at the theater box, which is owned by the Chinese theater. So it's mm -hmm. very similar to the forecourt and everything that you have up in uh, up in L.A. in Hollywood. Um, then we've got the Hall H panel and then we're doing an evening event. We've got multiple signings with Shatner and meet and greets and stuff for our community you can come and meet them and get to know them. Then we have a, an epic rooftop party that we were planning with him where he's actually going to perform and oh, uh, including wow. a song he's going to sing. So it's going to be a really special day. Like that whole day is just going to be 
um you know it'll be fantastic yeah we're really looking forward to it nice <clears throat> let me ask That's you about hollywood yep. and how from when you started to now the difference in reception of what you're producing compared to what it was when you first started yeah it's a it's a really good question i mean you know whenever you're starting a new company and you're maybe not like we like to think of ourselves as disruptive but not in a we're not like napster where we're trying to you know disrupt the music industry and we might actually ultimately have a bad impact on it we see ourselves as adding value in a disruptive way you know that we can that we're going to be doing some we're going to allow the 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 overall entertainment community to be more creative you know to step outside the boundaries of the sequels and reboots and to have permission and to you know to um be supported by a community that's encouraging people to take chances right like this is one of the things that we want legion m to be known for like this movie i don't know if you can see it this colossal um you know it was one of our first got poster away. behind it right Anne hathaway right? oh yeah i got the poster right there yeah, yeah. so yeah Anne hathaway and jason sudeikis but like wildly original movie you know and mandy another wildly original movie like we want right. to be doing really interesting and original projects but so to answer your question i would say you know when when jeff and i were doing our first company moby tv and we were pitching people on, you know, TV on cell phones and streaming media. And the industry was really negative. Like we were literally laughed out of meetings. I mean, we were, it was like crazy how closed mind, closed off they were. And I would say with this, you know, when we first started it, you know, there were some people saying, yeah, you know, it sounds like, you know, like people that have been in the industry, the longer they've been in the industry, um, you know, it really just depends. Like someone like William Shatner immediately gets it because he knows the value of the fans. But someone who's like maybe a studio head or something and like, you know, has this sort of, you know, thinking like, oh, well, you know, the fans are just going to watch whatever we give them, you know, might have a, uh, I don't know, you know, having fans as a community, you know, to them, this sounds like a nightmare. You know, they would literally tell us like, oh, you're going to want you're going to have a million fans on your cap table. That sounds like a nightmare. And we'd say, well, it may sound like a nightmare to you, but it sounds like Nirvana to us, because we believe that having that kind of a community supporting us and guiding us makes us better at what we do. You know, this whole idea that, you know, a, a community, the Legion M community, it's not just about buying tickets when our movie release. It's about helping us decide what projects are people interested in and when we're casting and when we're, you know, we're about to introduce, we've mentioned this, uh, we have a reading reading club coming up, Hollywood Readers Room, uh, that we're going to be introducing where you can read books alongside of us that these are books that we're evaluating the option and you'll be a part of the team that helps us evaluate those options or helps evaluate the content yeah, these are good books, or I could see this being a movie, and 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 getting us that input so that we can, and as we grow that community, that community alone could get to the point where, you know, like Oprah Winfrey or Reese Witherspoon, like we could make something a bestseller just by putting it into our, into our book club. So these are all, you know, we do Film Scout, Impulse, all these things. I like That's it. Brilliant. That is awesome. So that kind of brings up one of my standard questions that I love to ask people. And I ask them in succession, there's three questions. First thing that comes to thought. And at first you may not get it. So I'll explain as okay. we go along. All right. All right. Okay. In the movie industry, t TV industry, what do you do well? Legion M or me personally? You. Um... He's asking deep now. <laughs> Fast and deep. All right. What do I do? He's well? asking you deeper now. Oh, deeper yeah. question. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right. Um, I think I'm good at identifying um, creativity, um, and I would say I'm 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 good at getting people on board, nice. and, and you know, sales like that aspect of it. I mean, that's such a huge, huge 
part of Hollywood. Like when we first started Legion M, I remember um, we met with Guillermo del Toro. He invited us to his house and he really just wanted to give us some advice. And, um, and actually, uh, I, I might modify my answer a little bit based on this, because I think this is truly, you know, one of, one of my maybe, um, I don't know, skill sets or something that, that like really drives me is I'm super driven. I'm, I'm impatient and driven. And, and Guillermo had told us, he said, you know, just be prepared. And, and this is exactly what he said. And he, we're like waiting for him to answer. And he's like, I, I have some, I like, you know, this is great. I love what you guys are doing, blah, blah, blah. We, had, we were with him for almost two hours. And at the end, he said, you know, just one thing to keep in mind in Hollywood, nothing happens. And we're like, what? <laughs> he's like, nothing happens. Just know that this industry has a, a tendency to let nothing, it's like their, their inclination is to make nothing happen. So if you want to make something happen, you need to go deep with your willpower. Because he said, even me, Guillermo del Toro, you know, Academy, he hadn't won the Academy Award for uh, Shape of Water yet. But like, I mean, he was already pretty, you know, well established. He said, I have a hard time. My projects, I have to dig deep with my own willpower and push them through a system that is resisting everything. He said, you know, this is, this is why every project that gets made is a miracle because mm -hmm. the industry tries to make nothing happen. And, mm -hmm. and he's right. You know, I, so I would say, you know, not only like I'm good at the sales, I'm really pushy. Like I want to drive things forward. And I think, you know, it's, it's something that you need to have in this industry. Cause it's, you know, if you wait for someone to, to make it happen for you, it's not going to happen. Nice, man. Yeah. All right, here we go. What All do right. you need to work on? What's that? What do you need work on? What do I need work on? Um, I don't know. I guess you could almost flip that, like, and say, sometimes I can be a little impatient, like pushing, you know, too, too, too strong. Um, yeah. Um, what do I need to, oh, you know what I need to work on? I'm absolutely horrendous at it. Social media. I mean, the company is good, but me personally, I'm terrible. I don't like, I don't post it. Like I'm, I don't know. It's like over the last several years, like I, I kept telling myself, I need to get better at like I need to go deeper into social media and really appreciate it uh, I gotta be honest I'm having a tough time like I I really want Legion M to be out there we have to be you know evangelizing and I want to be able to do it as well but um I don't know it's it's person it it doesn't click with my personality I'm not the person that's like oh you know what I have to share this moment with the world. I'm more like, oh, you know, this is a private moment that I'm having. I don't know. It's just, but I am, I love sharing our projects and those things, but uh, I would say social media. I need to get better at social media. So I just took a picture. I'm tagging you in it. All right. All right. Good deal. <laughs> Last Let's question. Go. Yeah. What would you do differently? Like, hmm with my life or the company or I, don't know, I think it's up to you like would is there certain things that you would have done differently that you made mistakes to where you got here now that you would have gotten there sooner maybe or yeah I mean well I, I mean there are a couple things I mean there's a you know like if I look back at um you know Moby TV and our experience there we had some offers for the company like I have a joke that I always say that all my rich friends sold their companies too early <laughs> I don't know if you've ever heard that expression. Yeah, oh, yeah. Uh, we had a couple opportunities early on uh, to sell the company. I actually was willing to sell the company at that point, but our investors were really adamant that, like, oh, we should we should double down and keep going. And you know, so there's probably uh, some moments there. But to be honest, you know, I don't I don't ever really live with regrets. Like, I think everything happens for a reason. You know, I might not have started Legion M if I had sold that company, and mm. you know, were you know, retired at this point. And, and to be honest, I'm, I'm so jazzed about Legion M. Like, I feel like it is, you know, for Jeff and I both and our whole team, you know, the whole team at Legion M, we really feel like this is our calling. 
you know, like we we have we have found something that we think is really meaningful and will matter and will make a difference and we have a purpose and you know we're we don't take it lightly that you know both of you have invested in us you're you've trusted us to do something and to you know deliver on our promise to you and we just we don't take that lightly so we're you know we're 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 going for it but we we love it you know it's really to work with William Shatner and to go create these experiences and watch you know, people get to know him and, you know, to open the gates to Hollywood and all these things that we're doing. It's, it's truly like an honor. Last question for me, and we okay. got to end it because you got a boogie too, right? But yep. um, are you going to do the Stan Lee, you and Jeff and be in every single movie that you guys produce? <laughs> well, we're too late for that. We're too late for that. <laughs> well, from here on out, from here on out. There yeah, we go. For here, yeah. At some point. Well, it, you know, you, it is actually kind of funny. We have talked about uh, the Legion M multiverse and how that will, <laughs> you know, how that will kind of <laughs> evolve. Uh, so yeah, we're not ruling it out. I don't think it'll necessarily be Jeff and I, you know, putting ourselves in the movie, but some through lines I think is would be a good idea and something that we're absolutely thinking about, especially as we, you know, we produce more of our own content now and have a lot more you know, we're, we're working on bigger and better projects with a bigger role in, in each one. So yeah, we're, we're feeling pretty optimistic about, about the future. Well, Absolutely. I thank you for coming on because, yes. um, I mean, we could go on for a long time, but I know, oh, God, yeah. you know, we respect that time and everything and you coming on with us is, it's just amazing. We thank really you. appreciate it. We're big fans. Hope to shake your hand someday. And yeah, absolutely. Come in. to San Diego. Absolutely. I know. These yeah, are, I know. Can't we've get been, tickets to yeah. Comic Con anymore now, right? Well, and we, we get up to Roseville too. I mean, we've done some um, some meetups up there for, I think we did Bad Samaritan and a couple other uh, uh, memory origins of Alien. Oh. Yeah, we've, got, we've got a good, strong Legion M contingency up there. So, yes, yeah. you do. That's what you yeah, need. Yeah, we do. Let Thank us all know that. who we are so we yeah. can connect to each other, right? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. So, when Man in the White Van comes out or whatever, you know, Moot Nandor Fodor and the Talking Mongoose, which we oh, didn't yeah. talk can't about. Wait. Time and that's going to be, <laughs> that's gonna be awesome. awesome. I can't yeah. wait. Yeah, it's going to be good. Well, I want to say right back at you guys that. You know, I appreciate you supporting us, you know, yeah. not only having us on your show, but with your with your investment in Legion M. I mean, that's what it's all about is people like you coming together to support us. I and mean, we can't do anything without the community. And, you know, I, like we are genuinely and and just so deeply grateful to the community because it's, you know, they, like, like I said, it was an experiment. We weren't quite sure how it would go. And it's been fantastic. I mean, it's just been because there's people like you that are supportive and, and you know, and just likable, good people, you know, and coming together and, you know, doing good things together. It's just, you know, it's the way the world should work, I think. And Thank you. Yeah, yeah we're excited. You. And if you ever need two goofy looking guys for anything, oh, we're man. here for we you. Absolutely. So we always need out. two goofy looking guys for stuff. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> from all of us here at what up yep. with rob and chris have a great day and a better tomorrow paul thank you thank sir. you what all up right, thank what you up. what up have an amazing week